Hello and welcome to Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits Reviews. Tonight, another homebrew video. And uh, we're at day four now of the Easter brew uh, from Bulldog. Bulldog Brews. Um, that's one of their inst beer instruction kits. Easter brew is a fantastic chocolate stout. At, that's six percent and increasing because none of the bulldog uh, brews stay at the t you know they all seem to be a bit higher evil dog i've had that at eight percent before so they're not always you know i mean especially if you tweak the uh like i did so uh we're on day four started it off on sunday it's bubbling away in the background i brought it into the warmer kitchen rather than the cool room in there because i already had a brew going that brew's already that brew's in a barrel now ready for tomorrow for me to bottle it but this fella it's all you know it's day four so it's uh, still got a way to go so I don't remember adding these before to this brew so we've got some hot pellets uh, to add to this chocolate stout so a chocolatey stout with hops so open it up I presume it's a tea bag and there you have it. So, here's the tea bag. Bang it in a jug. Get some hot water. Chuck it in. If you was making a more of a craft beer and you wanted a, a real full on aroma, you would do this probably a day or two before. Uh, I want the hops, but I don't want too hoppy because to be honest, if it's too hot, it's not that nice, to be honest. So, I'm going to leave it in there for the best part of 10 minutes. Just to activate the hops. And all we do then is pour that into the brew, which is here. There you go. Different uh, bucket this time. Young's bucket. Um, 24 litres. That, that, that ridge is the 24 litres there. What I did do, I added off, uh, was it half a kilo of sugar to the original brew just to get it up a notch because uh, I mean six percent's nice six and a half seven percent's really nice you know we're talking all temperature so and I've got to chat rubbish for ten minutes or I could just press pause and see in ten minutes uh, but yeah with the hot pellets you can do it several different ways it's up to you you know uh, they give you two or three different ways to do it and basically you know it's up to you what how you do it you know you can have it as hoppy as you want do it a day before or you can do it like me do it on day four like the ashy two so you know it depends what you're brewing I'm brewing a chocolate stout I do not want it too hoppy you know uh, I want the chocolate to shine through. Now this chocolate stout to me is the best uh, chocolate stout on the market um, from a homebrew kit. Um, I brewed it before, I got it to 7% and very nice, very nice. In fact, the bottles, they're 40 pints because obviously 24 litres is 40 pints. Those 40 pints went down extraordinarily quick. You know, um, I think I gave one to somebody at work. Yeah, a lady at work who, who works at work police cleaner, uh, who's a beer drinker. I gave her one, and um, she loved it as well. So, yeah, very, a very good. I mean, twenty two pound fifty is what they are now. I'm sure they was a bit cheaper, but prices do change, I suppose. Uh, twenty two pound fifty. I got mine from. Um, <laughs> Creative wine making in Ilkeston, you know, so shout out to them guys. Yeah, did an order, the order came lovely, you know, everything was there, no messing about. Because the last thing you want is anything, any issues with orders on the internet. These guys don't take your PayPal, so you'd, you'd have to use your credit card. Uh, there is another company called Love Brewing, uh, they're the ones whose videos I've been following on the internet, to be fair. They also do, uh, they use PayPal as well. But with the likes of creative wine making, if you're going to use them, um, 
and I suppose the other ones as well. I think if you spend over 45 quid at either store, you're going to get um, free posters and packaging. So it pays to be cute. It pays to buy two kits or 45 quid's worth of whatever. Because if you spend anything less, then you pay a five uh, postage. So, you know, you can't, I mean, unless you can drive to a brewing shop that's close by, you know, you don't really want to be paying for postage and packaging if you can help it you know some companies you, you know you're going to be um some companies your um you know it could be 60 pound the threshold Ooh. i will tell you something the hops don't always smell that nice smells that rancid tea to me but hey oh what am i what do i know and uh, so, what I'll do, I'll give it a pause, come back in 10 minutes, and then we'll pour it in. So, we're back. It's had its 10 minutes, as you can see. There we go. It doesn't look the most inviting. It smells like rancid tea, if I'm being honest. So the next thing we've got to do is take the lid off the bucket, the fermentation bucket. And we're just going to pour it in, mix it around, and then that's it then for however many days it takes to um, do its thing. So, here we go, into the bucket. You leave the hop uh, tea bag and whatever in, pour it all in. Replace the lid, let me show you. So yeah, there we are, putting the lid back down. Nice and tight, get that seal, and give it a bit of a swish round. And that's it. We're blobbing away like the normal, and uh, well, that's that process out of the way. So the next thing I'll be doing will be draining it, you know, ready for um, bottling. So, but that'll be, I think, we're looking at a week, really, you know, to let it brew. I like to let it brew more than what it should brew, you know, just to make sure it's got rid of all the sugars. Because last thing you want is a sugary beer, you know, it uh, it doesn't taste nice. I've done it before beer sugary like lagers we have but we have took it out too quickly and it's turned out sugary and it's not nice you know ruins the uh, taste you know you're drinking it it's like Whoa. but anyway and like anything with own brew you live and learn you know maybe I don't do it perfect but I've got my way you know you look at it and you, you take you everyone does it their own way you know never mind what their experts tell you to do so that's it it's bubbling away now nicely um so we'll see you in a few days thanks for watching